Hey everyone, it's Roto Retire talking about taxes today, a subject that I absolutely hate talking about, but I feel like even though I'm not technically a tax accountant, I have an accounting degree, but I don't focus on tax, I feel like it's appropriate for me to talk about taxes because I do such a wide range of side hustles all the way from YouTube and eBay, uh, data annotation out tech, remote task, Amazon Mechanical Turk, Connect, user testing. I do so many side hustles. And many people think that doing taxes for that is a ridiculous nightmare. And I'm here to tell you that it's really not that bad, but it also depends on the type of tax software that you use. Sometimes they're a little more scrutinous than others. So this is going to be my experience. So again, this is disclaimers, and this is also just a little bit of a heads up before I get into the meat of this video, and that is I am from Pennsylvania, so your state's tax might be different. And speaking of Pennsylvania, obviously I'm in the United States, so this probably won't apply to your country. Also, I, like I said earlier in the beginning, even though I'm an accounting accountant and I have an accounting degree, I have no good tax accounting advice here. So this is definitely not tax advice or financial advice. I'm just telling you my experience with doing so many side hustles in the past, what I do for taxes, what you can expect with certain sites and my approach to saving taxes because there is a common way to do it. And then there's the way that I do it. And of course, there's other ways. So let's get into the video. So the first important part to understand is look at the website that you are doing the work on and find out if it's going to be W-2 work or 1099 independent contractor work. W-2 is like any other job out there if you work a nine to five like I do, where taxes are automatically taken out of your paycheck and you receive the net of everything else, benefits, blah, 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 blah retirement. So. Basically, W-2, you're going to get a W-2 mailed in, and then you will have to fill out the section as part of your income. It'll say, it'll say everything that you got, you know, money you received and how much you already paid in taxes. You'll have to enter that into your tax software, give it to an accountant to do it for you, and you're on your merry way. There are very few side hustle sites web uh, like this. I know that Appen is one of those where one of their projects is a W-2 paying project. So they'll take the taxes out immediately and you don't really have to worry about it except for just reporting everything. Most side hustle websites are going to be 1099 work and 1099 means that you are an independent contractor. And for some states, maybe it's all states, I'm honestly not sure. Usually the threshold is $600 and if you earn over $600 for the year, they will send you a tax form. Nonetheless, even if you earn under $600, you're still gonna have to report it anyway, legally. So, you know, it's a battle of utility whether it's not they actually have to send you a 1099. Point is they should, and even if that you don't, you still have to report it. So what you end up filing this income under is either a 1099 miscellaneous or a 1099 NEC. Basically, NEC is probably the one that you should be using, but I always throw it into 1099 miscellaneous. The point is, as long as you record the income that you get for the year, it really shouldn't matter. Now, how do I do it? If I don't receive a 1099 form from them, because a lot of companies, the side hustles with sites, will send you a 1099 tax form and it makes it a lot easier because you can just submit that as proof of your income but if i don't get a form from the website say something like a data annotation.tech that i didn't get a form for last year even though i made over 600 dollars i just ended up like screenshotting the web page uh showing what i earned for the year and then I submitted that as my proof. And then I just put the full amount into 1099 miscellaneous income. So what's going to happen in terms of how much you have to pay if the taxes aren't taken out already? And that's going to be whatever your personal tax rate is. So whatever bracket you are in, if you're in like a 24 to 26% tax bracket, that's how much you will have to pay on your side hustle income. And what stinks is that if you're not prepared for it, that these taxes are going to seem really high because you haven't been taxed on these at all. So it's like if you earn a thousand dollars, you might think to yourself, all oh, the taxes won't be that bad. But if you get taxed at 24% of it, I mean, that's $240 that you might not have on you at that point in time. So you have to prepare for these taxes. And there's a couple of different ways you can go about it. So let's get into that. So the easiest way and the way that I would recommend most people out there who are doing these type of websites save for taxes is you just save it, right? So let's say you earn $100, just take $25 of it 
and immediately just put it in either like its own bank account. Maybe you can put that 25 into a high yield savings account. So at least it's growing a little bit, even though you got to pay tax on the interest. The point is just separate it out right away. That is the easiest method of doing it. And also, it helps to be really conservative when you're doing this stuff. So maybe even save 30% because there's no harm, no foul if you save a little bit too much and then you owe less taxes than you think you do. No big deal at the end of the day. You still have that money. You can allocate it to whichever way you want. The difference between saving 25% and 30%, if you're just doing these side hustle websites, usually isn't that much. And now if it's you're talking tens of thousands of dollars, that 5% can mean a lot and you might lose time. You know, oh, I could have invested that 5% in the market, whatever. But for sanity's sake and conservative sake, 30% is usually a good rule of thumb. 25% if you want to be more like, eh, I think that's pretty much where my tax rate is going to be after these side hustle incomes get included. I think I'll just save 25%. So that is what I would recommend for most people who are doing these type of websites to do. I think it makes the most sense, but I nonetheless do something different. I don't know why I do this, but this is just the way that I do it. I think I like, for me personally, when I get side hustle income, I always like to immediately put it into some kind of action. Either right now it's paying off my truck that I just bought as fast as humanly possible. So every single penny that I get, even if it's a dollar from Amazon Mechanical Turk, going straight to the truck. I don't save 25 cents. I don't save 30 cents. To me, in my mind, maybe it's just a mental thing. I get more satisfaction after taking every single penny and putting it right to the truck. So you're asking, well, then what do you do come tax time? Well, I do work a nine to five job. And what I found is beneficial for me, and I'm going to have to up this probably with YouTube income skyrocketing more than I expected. But I just have extra taxes withheld from my nine to five paycheck. I think right now I have about a hundred dollars per paycheck being withheld federally. So it's like I'm giving the federal government a advance. I'm getting I'm giving the federal government like an advance on taxes. I'm giving them money up front with no return, but whatever it is what it is. So I get paid twice a month, which means I get 24 paychecks. So I am saving no matter what happens, two thousand four hundred dollars I shouldn't say I'm saving that much. I'm putting 2,400 additionally into taxes before I see any amounts from my side hustle income. Now, obviously my goal this year that I've been touting on this channel for a couple of weeks now is getting $40,000 in side hustle income in a single year. And as you know, $40,000, 25% of that is $10,000. So I'm going to have to save a lot more than 2,400, but we'll see how it works. And it'll be a good experience. We'll see how much I have to raise from each paycheck. I also have my wife putting like $25 per paycheck as well into it federally withheld. So that's just one way of doing it. Um, if you're the type of person who likes doing these side hustles, yet you don't really want to concern yourself with taxes being taken out at the end in one lump sum, then maybe do my route. Maybe do it where it's like, if you don't feel like saving it, if you don't like having a separate bank account or something for this type of stuff, maybe you go my route where it's like you have a nine to five, ask them to federally withhold more taxes. It's really simple. Um, usually most companies have a website that you can go to. Uh, where you t say how much like 401k or whatever you want contribute it and they'll have the same section where I, I forget what form it's called but it's just a form that you fill out and it'll say how much do you want extra federally withheld from your paycheck now this is going to change for me personally this year because we are expecting a child in late may so because it's happening this year i'm going to be able to put them as a dependent even not for the full year but it's dependent on our family and we will get a little bit of a tax break so i won't get as heavily penalized with these side hustles as i normally would so that's going to help me out a little bit but i still have to save more than 2400 dollars a year if i'm going to get my goal of four that uh forty thousand dollars in side hustle income in a single year by the way follow along i do a video every single night saying what i earn every single day if you want to follow that journey. It's pretty fun. I like doing the shorts. So follow along if you haven't. So taxes can be really annoying if you do a lot of side hustles like me. Just keep track of every single side hustle website that you do. You don't have to necessarily track your earnings every single day like I do. You don't have to be you know, really crazy and detailed with it. But just keep track of every single site that you do, even if it's tiny, even if you like 
gave Mechanical Turk a shot and you earned $10 for the year and say, ah, I'm not gonna report it, you have to legally report it, just make a note that you worked on Amazon Mechanical Turk and then come tax time, just go to the website, see what you can dig up for the year if they don't give you a form and just report your income. It's not that big of a deal. The government just wants you to report the income. They don't necessarily care if it's gonna be like die hard, like, oh, you should have filed it under 1099. Uh, miscellaneous versus 1099 NEC or anything like that. They just want you to report every single dollar you earn. And as long as you report that, your risk of getting audited is extremely low to minimal. And fact of the matter is, unless you're a person like me who's shooting for a sky high number in side hustles, your risk of getting audit period from doing like $1,000 a year from surveys from connect or something it's so low anyway just report the income and you're not going to get in trouble but that is one thing i do want to say i've seen many people on reddit forums say on mechanical turk especially because they never got a form from amazon that they just don't report their income and i would like to remind you it's illegal and i would never ever tell you to do that but you can write off things as well so if you're the type of person who itemizes on their taxes then you will be able to take deductions from your business as well. So a couple years ago, I was in the threshold where it made more sense to itemize versus um, getting the standard deduction. So I did things like, oh, I bought a new microphone for YouTube. I bought a new camera for YouTube. I bought new monitors for YouTube. This is all technically like a business expense and you can reduce your income that way. But for the most of us, if you're doing just like the standard deduction, taking the standard deduction because you have kids or whatever and you have independence, it, Sometimes it's just easier just to report the income. Don't worry about writing off all these things because once you start getting aggressive with writing off stuff like, oh, uh, my internet bill should be writing off my income because I use it for YouTube research or something like that. Once you start doing a ton of write-offs, then you're opening up your then you're opening yourself up to the possibility of an audit, which you do not want to do. That's one of the worst things a person can experience in the United States is getting audited by the IRS. So just report your income. Don't freak out about missing like ten dollars or whatever, but don't also freak out about putting it into the wrong boxes. Just report as much income as you think you have. Be conservative with it. Save out throughout the year. If you don't do my method, just make sure you're saving a good chunk of money don't be scared of that tax bill when it comes if you are saving you're pretty much prepared if you're saving 25 to 30 percent you should be in the clear yes it's a lot of headaches if you're like me and you do a bunch of different sites but as long as you keep track of every single site you do it's just that annoying process when you are filing your taxes of making sure you have a form for each and if you don't have a perfect 1099 form for them or a w-2 form that you just have a clean clear snippet of what you earned for that year so you can report it without lying and there's no questions about it and you can attach it to all these side hustles or to these tax websites i personally use h and r block in the process for doing this honestly you think like with how many side hustle websites i go through that it would take me hours it takes me like maybe like 30 minutes to report all my side hustle income it's just getting everything getting all your ducks in a row making sure you report everything but it's honestly not as stressful as a process as people make it out to be and people think like you need to give like every single detail what i earned every single week every single month or whatever just have a summary of what you earned for the entire year if you don't get a 1099 form and you're good to go i've never been scrutinized from the irs on how i file something the only time i got a letter from the irs is when i won a jackpot on a slot machine like six years ago and i thought i didn't have to report it because my losses were greater and obviously you can only do that if you itemize that's the only time i've gotten it so again even if you get a w-2 form you have to report the income, even if taxes were already taken out. So report every dollar you make. That's the end of the story. And that's all I have to say about side hustles and taxes. So hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you do any other weird ways to save for your tax bill when side hustles are done at the end of the year. Hope you enjoyed the video. Follow along if you want to see my journey on earning $40,000 in a year and trying to pay off a $64,000 truck using only side hustle money, not touching my nine to five career job. Hope you enjoy this content. See everyone in the next video.